We bought this property through a wholesaler who reached out to Ian through LinkedIn. That's a first for us. It ended up being in the same block that we're already doing a rehab in the 1400 block of West Austin Street in the Pigtown neighborhood. And so we're, right now we're currently doing 1415. We just bought 1407. We bought this property sight unseen because it was actually a perfect price point, cheaper than what we're typically paying for properties down here. And what had happened was we bought the property, we came, did a walkthrough, and we, we realized fast that there was a pretty unique situation uh, that's happening here that we've never experienced before. So we figured, what the hell, we'll, uh, we'll turn the cameras on, document it, and share it with you guys, because why not? It's, you don't see it every day, so. Okay, so first thing we noticed when we came in here, obviously this property is a full gut for us. Not a big deal, we're taking this thing down to the bricks and studs. So I noticed when we walked in here, I said, that's strange. Why is there a line set, two different line sets going from the second floor and coiled up in the kitchen? Typically you see this in the basement and it goes out to the outside. And he noticed that there was a brand new, bonus for us, 200 amp electrical service. I mean, you don't need a 200 amp service here, but we'll take it. So we saw that, and then we, you know, we took a walk upstairs. Notice all these trash bags, just thought it was full of bullshit. And then we're in the front bedroom here, and we notice that there's a gigantic grow light. And I'm like, all right, so the guy, they were growing some, you know, they were recreational, you know, pot growers, big deal planner too. Yeah, then you got some dirt on the floor. <laughs> then we noticed that there was potting soil covering everything. And we're like, well, that's interesting. So then we started digging through these okay. trash bags and found everything that you would need to have a full-on grow house going on in your, in your house. I mean, as you can see, they had they ran all new electrical outlets. They had heat vents. So what they did, they had a, this entire house top to bottom was set up as a hydroponics weed grow set up. I mean, I, I work in this neighborhood with the fire department and we're down here all the time and it's like literally right under your nose, you know? Anyway, let's go to the base. Down here, what we noticed was- I thought they were sofas. <laughs> they put in a brand new or newer HVAC system, because I guess you need heat to grow weed. Uh, brand new upgraded gas meter, upgraded copper water line. Um, I mean, they're really giving no reasons for anyone to have to come to this house that like, you know, maybe from the city or BG. They really, you know, put bars up so no one can come in through the basin windows. Brand new hot water heater. So basically, I mean, you know, we own this house now. We're gonna come in here and gut it. I guess the benefit of buying a properly ran weed grow house is we get new electric, new hot water heater, new HVAC system. Uh, so, thank you. I'm not gonna save us a few bucks. And we got the house at a pretty good discount. <laughs> we just gotta get rid of his, uh, his, his all of his uh, left up behind uh, what do they call that? Paraphernalia? That's not paraphernalia. Is this technically paraphernalia? Nah, I wouldn't call it that. We gotta get rid of all the trash. Yeah. Living the landlord life.